and this is a serious matter which is احترام الحياة الجنسية وحدودها respecting the intimate relationship and the boundaries of it and you could go a long conversation in this particular point by itself Rasulullah Sallallahu for example showed us that you know she's a fragile so that particular vessel she gotta be handled carefully the the relationship the intimate relationship has boundaries and has limitations sometimes maybe she is not feeling well she is sick you gotta respect that feeling you gotta respect and appreciate that she is not in a mood to be ready for your desire respect that particular feeling it protects the love respect the boundaries that how can I enjoin with my wife through the ways that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permitted for you which is through the way that she delivers the baby which is called the vagina so respect the boundaries of the intimate relationship respect the boundaries of the intimate relationship to stay all the time in the halal boundaries that will protect the love it protects the relationship it protects your marriage one of the 60 ways to keep the love of your wife guaranteed 43 means our children they are really our heart walking on earth help her to take care of your heart you know uh, you'll find some of the brothers will think to help with the children I'm a less of a man if I help with the children no you are a bigger man you are more respected you are even more with in the sight of Allah and Rasulullah when you help her with your children one way to keep the love guaranteed 44 Hadaya al Alsun the gifts of the tongue some of us will think to say something nice to your wife means you know I'm mushy I'm just uh, giving her sweet talk no this is the gifts of the tongue tell her that you know you look great today you know mashallah is so bright you know something about you today mashallah it, it feels like you know we just got married today the way how you give her the gifts of the tongue be an artist pick and choose what you're gonna say to her you know it is not being hypocrite no this is the gifts of the tongues 45 لا تكن غريب في كل الوجبات some wives would say you know my husband I rarely sit down and eat with him my husband really doesn't know how my food tastes he's always in the go he's always busy don't be strange to sit down and to eat with her don't be strange to put that particular food in her mouth where previously I mentioned for these people just to sit down I happen to actually counsel a family where the wife really like crave crave for her husband to sit down and have a meal with her that protects the love increases the love and my brothers my sisters all these points where I'm mentioning I'm not inventing thoughts I'm not inventing a rocket these just are reminders it really helped each and every one of us that even you could give this CD to someone who's just getting married or wants to get married or in a wedding party rest assured anyone will benefit from these points because they are from the Quran and the Sunnah I benefit you benefit everyone benefit inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in this effort 46 al khabar in the safar let her know that you are traveling don't surprise her not only that let her know that you are coming what day what time it is against Islam that you just surprise her and knock the door on her it is against Islam so let her know when you are leaving let her know when you are coming don't surprise her al khabar and the safar 47 
احذر جاذبية الهرب some of us will start carrying a particular uh, debate or let's say half argument which is preferably always to avoid arguing but as soon there's some type of a, a conversation that could lead to a arguments or could lead to a bit of challenge he would right away feel like a magnet pulling him out of home don't don't cooperate with this magnet as soon you're leaving home in certain situations it might be just for you to leave that five minutes two minutes might be healthy but for some of us who will just as soon something happen he will just leave home quit this it will protect your love it will really enhance your love one of the 60 ways to keep the love of your wife guaranteed my brothers my sisters lil biyut asrar point number 48 that the home has secrecy and privacy once you take this privacy to the public and the secrecy of your wife and privacy to your best friend or to your two, three, four friends, you're really putting a serious, dangerous hole into your marriage and into your love relation. These secrets stays home. These privacy stays home. And Islam is against taking these privacy and secrecy and just leaving it like a garage sale for anyone to come pick and choose we go to 49 and this is really beautiful that you encourage each other with the ibadat with worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that increases the love you know you plan a trip for hajj or umrah together that really increases the love really enhance the love it makes the love so genuine to help each other to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to share these ibadat. Let's go for Umrah. Let's go to the masjid and listen to this particular qari or this particular uh, speaker, this particular uh, dars lesson. Help each other with the ibadat. Let's go and make tahajjud today. My brothers, my sisters, it protects the love, it enhances the love. Point number 50 that to know that her rights not only written on piece of paper no what they are really fighting nowadays saying sharia and sharia no her rights not only written on piece of paper it is engraved in your heart it is engraved in your conscious really we don't need anyone to engrave them in our hearts we have to really engrave them ourselves her rights upon you engraved in your heart engraved in your conscious 51 al-ishra bil-ma'roof Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declared that in the Quran wa'ashiruhunna bil-ma'roof you know live with them with kindness be the best for your wife treat them with kindness treat them with goodness that will go a long way and that means in the happy time or in the sad time you treat her with kindness with fairness in the time of prosperity or diversity you're treating her with kindness with goodness with fairness may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all to practice these points my brothers may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to practice them with sincerity and to enjoy the delicious taste of practicing these Points. And you could add to these points, when we say 60 ways to keep the love of your wife guaranteed, you could add.